adding borders to our formatting. So we're back at the same table on the formatting sheet right here. And I just want to show you very quickly how you can add borders to this. So there's two ways you can actually do this. You can do it the quick way by using this button right here on the font tab on the home tab. So on the font section in the home tab, and I'll show you this right now. So if I select the whole table, I press uh, this button right here. So the drop down one, you can see all the types of borders that you can select. I usually go for the thick box border whenever I put the outside border on a table. So as you can see, we have it there. We can merge these columns here and add a border as well and here as well. And now it will look all nice and tidy. Now, the second way you can actually do this is, again, you select the area, you right click, and when you right click, you have this menu that pops up and you have the button here that says format cells. Now we're gonna look at this later because you can format every aspect of the cell, but what we're interested right now is going to the border tab right here. And as you can see, you can choose all types of borders. You can choose the coloring um, and so on. So this is extremely helpful. Obviously you don't have to go too much in depth on this, but what I usually do is on in the middle of the table, I would put one of these ones that are a bit more discreet. So in this case, I could put a horizontal one. As you can see, I pressed here in between these two squares and a vertical one. And as soon as I press OK, as you can see, the whole table has been formatted. It has an external border and it has an internal one as well. So I hope that's been helpful. I tried to keep it very short. As you can see right now, this table looks much better with just one minute of formatting added to 